Hello everybody, good afternoon, welcome to the channel, this is Papa Bale, and we are looking at the pulse motor, I believe this is going to be the final rendition for this rotor, it's hexagonal, it's kind of perfect, I mean, if the magnets on the, on the disc were spaced right, it would be perfect, but they basically have uh, between 6 and 5, I probably could have done it a better way. Most of them have six in between them. I don't know how that got moved. How did that get moved? Well, some have five, some have six. It's not exactly perfect. Um, like right, right here. See how that's off? give it a little little spin I think this is one of my better rotors though and we are going to juice it up just a little bit and I glued those round magnets in the middle of each node to uh, Synergize with this the air core center of my coils the Table's gonna start shaking because of the Differentiate differential Man, I wish there was an easier way for me to make this stuff then I could get it precise every time but it's really hard to do with your hands. Everything's shaking now. Still in Excel phase. Anyway, that's good enough for me right there. Power's cut. And I have three capacitors hooked up and that might be slowing everything down actually so these three capacitors are hooked up and they're all hooked up to this this coil right here just this, that one and they dump into this one So, uh, I mean, they're hooked up in between this one and this one, so the load should be right there, right? I don't know. The load might be shared by all the coils since they're all in the same circuit now. So, you know, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to take off these capacitors and I'm going to run it again. It won't be that different, but it should be a little different. Wow, this one whips, whips good. And to put my other rotor on at this point, I would have to remove all the coils because they're too close. Um, my other rotor, I'm sure you know what I'm talking about. But we're gonna go in this Ottoman, there it is right there. See how far those magnets stick out? Yeah. So this setup will not work for that rotor. So how I, I know how to do this, really simply. Let's see. Let's see if it will actually make a difference. I don't know if it, I don't think it will because.
All right, now that circuit's hooked up again. Let's give it a whirl, see what happens. We got the table shaking with the capacitors hooked up. Let's see. Yeah, I think that's moving a lot smoother. That got to the table shaking phase a lot faster. No idea how many RPMs is out there right now, but it's a lot. You know what I think? I think I might have to put those magnets on again. I don't know if they're even going to come off. I used tacky glue this time. Because I didn't want them to come off. I don't want them to come off. That's the whole point. That's why you put glue on them in the first place. Anyway, I think this is truly awesome. This little rotor right here, this one disc rotor, it's freaking awesome. I mean, it, everything lines up the way it's built. It's it's good. And I think that without the capacitors, it's free to spin like a lot more because there's no vacuum effect from the coils. Like with those big magnets and the other rotor in there. Um, yeah, there'd, there'd be major issues right now with uh, the ability to free spin. And what's the deal with the free spin? The free spin, this spin right here, is costing nothing. All the other spinning costs something. Okay, you get what I'm saying? The free spin is where you're saving energy, regardless of whether it's perpetual or not. Okay, it's, it's vital. It is vital to the equation of perpetual motion. The ability to coast. Uh, I'm not sure if that's like legit, you know, but I would feel like the ability to not spend energy and move is key. And you could say that because it's a permanent magnet and it's not plugged into the wall, that it's free energy, right? Wrong. Wrong. That's wrong. <laughs> I mean, if you want to get technical, you got to consider all the energy it took to make the magnets. Just all of it, man. It's just nothing. Knock on wood. We hope this isn't right, but nothing is free. See that misalignment right there is really bugging me. It's like bugging me, bugging me, bugging me, bugging me, bugging me. I got, well, they might, let's see. This one is misaligned. This one is slightly misaligned, but it looks a lot better. See when they line up, this one and the one on the other side, it's kind of okay. Yeah, that one's good. So those two other ones are kind of misaligned. I need to see if I can even take those off of there.
because I don't want to take any of the any of the magnets off of uh, the disc itself. Any of these little bar ones right here. See, like right there, that that was just done with my finger, but that's not gonna, you know, charge anything or juice anything up. Or and if it is, it's gonna be very slight. But since the capacitors are not hooked up, it is free, free motion, free to move. There's nothing obstructing its motion. There's no resistance from the coils. I mean, it is on a bearing, which is a ceramic bearing. I don't know if I was supposed to use that lithium grease on that, but it still works. And then it's, it's floating there. It's just floating there. Allowing for very smooth motion. You gotta understand. Alright. Thank you very much. Please subscribe and have a nice day.